Five months after the engagement ceremonies of Ibuan Kumai, which is the first step of the matrimonial journey between Chibogo, Emode, and Chijoke Ilozwe, which took place in Onichanamra State during the Christmas period last year, the Emode and Ilozwe families have taken the marriage of their children to a conclusive logical end with the solemnization of the holy matrimony of the marriage to give it the much desired spiritual seal. The church service for the Chibogo, Emode, and Chijoke Eloze wedding, which took place at the Holy Trinity Catholic Church, Mitama Abuja, on Saturday, 17th of May 2014, as to be expected, was attended by heavyweights in the different sectors of life within and outside Nigeria. This is to complement the very high standing of the parents of the couple in the society and their generous disposition towards people themselves. First things first, the officiating priest quickly supervised the exchange of marital vows and wedding rings by the couple as the entire congregation properly settled in to absorb the service that will ultimately proclaim Chibogo and Chijioke as bona fide husband and wife. That's one moment that the parents of the bride, Dr. O.K. and Senator Dr. Joe M.O. D.C.O.N. from Onicha and the Onicha North Local Government Area of Anambra State, and the groom's family, late Chief Christopher and Mrs. Rosling Ilozwe from Umudioka in the Duno Kofia Local Government of Anambra State, have looked forward to all this while with high hopes and aspiration. In terms of attendance of the high and the mighty at the church service, the First Lady, Dame Patience Jonathan was ably represented by the Minister of State for FCT, Oloye Olajumoke Akinjide. While Senate President David Mark, who was accompanied by his wife Helen, led the very rich array of members of the National Assembly from both chambers to pay a well-deserved homage to the mother of the bride, Senator Dr. Joe M. Odison, who was a worthy member of the Senate, and President Goodluck Jonathan, Special Advisor on National Assembly Matters, until recently. The Deputy Speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives, Honorable Emeka Ihedio CON, members of the Federal Executive Council, heads of government agencies and parastatals, as well as captains of industry, titans from the corporate and business world, they all join hands in faith with the MOD and Ilozwe families to intercede for a successful marriage for the young couple Chibogo, MOD and Chijoke Ilozwe as a step out to begin their new home. 
featured very exciting choir ministration, Bible reading, and the sermon, which was preached by the officiating minister. In it, the couple were taken through the usual exhortations as to the time-tested do's and don'ts sacrosanct for the success of any marriage, which, if they had had strictly tell, would enable them to successfully navigate any turbulence that union may face in future. Chibogo and Chijoke were admonished to anchor their marriage entirely on godly ways, constant and consistent prayers. Marriage is not the essential of marriage is not necessarily the amount of money you have, the amount the number of children you have, the number of connections or whatever you have. The essential of marriage and beauty of marriage is not the word love. Love speaks so much about marriage. Love is patient, is kind, is considerate. The signing of the marriage register by the couple was witnessed by their parents, sponsors of the marriage, and the officiating minister. The couple and their parents will serve the Holy Communion before the special Thanksgiving session that wrapped up the church service of the wedding of Chibogo and Chijoke in Luzwe. The reception took place at the prestigious This Day Dome Event Center in the central business district of Abuja, the nation's capital, which had been most creatively revamped and retooled with breathtaking and mind-blowing decorations in tandem with the color scheme of the day. Again, Nigerians, men and women, shone brightly in the looks and attires they adorned which clearly puts Nigerians in the undisputable class as not only the most discerning and enlightened people, but most fashionable group of people in the entire black race of the world. The M.O.D. and Ilozwe families went all out to give their children marriage that will make them proud of the pedigree of both families in the society and inspire them to work towards keeping intact the sanctity and integrity of their families' names in whatever they do henceforth. The joy of the parents of the couple knew no bounds in the way they danced to the venue in company of their friends and family members. A couple of the moment, Chibogo and Chijoke Lozwe, whom all the dignitaries had waited patiently to receive, descended on the venue in what seemed like a well choreographed dance routine that kept the entire audience spellbound and properly thrilled. The parents of the couple deserve a great thumbs up for sparing no expenses at all to give a most respectable education that has properly positioned their awards for the world. The bride, Chibog, read economics at the Iguinedo University of Kada Edo State for her first degree, and she followed this up with a master's degree in management at the Nottingham University in the United Kingdom, which is where she met her husband, Chijo Keilozwe, who also pursued a master's degree in financial management in the same university after his first degree in business administration at the University of Abuja. While the bride, Chibog, works with the TED Fund, 
The groom is an employee of NDIC, both based in Abuja, the federal capital city, where they hope to begin life as a couple with a very great promise ahead of them. The chairman of the reception, Senator Barnabas Gemadi, former national chairman of the ruling People's Democratic Party, PDP, and a very close family friend of the MODs, the Bright's family, in his remarks also pleaded with the couple to endeavor to be worthy representatives of their families in the way they carried on as a couple henceforth. Senator Gemadi emphasized the God factor, which is absolutely inevitable for the success of any marriage, advising that the couple should hold tightly to it. So we welcome the bride and the bridegroom who are finally here. The young man is so happy that he found a good wife. Because the Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. On behalf of the family of Dr. Senator Joy Modi, I'd like to welcome you once more and rejoice with you and rejoice with this family for this wonderful occasion of this marriage. The cutting of the wedding cake was conducted by Hajja Amina Titi Atiku Abubakar, wife of former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. She also supervised the feeding of the couple. The bridal dance was next in the lineup of activities at the reception. The toast of the couple was ably proposed by a very close friend of theirs. The bride threw her bouquet of flowers as her spinster friend who had taken vantage position jostled fiercely to see who the wedding cap fits next among them. <laughs> the groom, Chijoke Ilozwe, gave the vote of thanks on behalf of the MOD families and the entire people of Onicha in the Onicha North local government area of Anambra State and the Ilozwe families from Umudioka in the Dunokofia local government area of Anambra State. Uh, we thank you for all your support, your prayers. We pray that God will meet you at the point of your need. We pray that the works of your hands shall be blessed. Your going in and coming out shall be blessed. We pray that God will take you safely back to your destination and then extend the blessings to your families. From then upwards till the end of the wedding, it was a marathon session of merrymaking, dancing, and hearty rejoicing with the couple, their parents, friends, and well-wishers in the thick of the celebration. It's hearty congratulations to the M.O.D. and Ilozwe families for the huge success recorded at the wedding of your children, which we pray will be blessed with fruits of the womb before too long. Shall it be?